Sly Nation is sponsored by The Awesome Couple. Check them out at theawesomecoupleshop.com for affordable prices on box Pokemon products, toys and plushes, and so much more. The Awesome Couple, keeping Sly Nation stock and making Pokemon card collecting affordable again. What's up Sly Nation? Welcome back to another Pokemon TCG Deck Tech. It's been a very long time since I've actually, honestly, played the game. Been so busy. My class is actually finished, like I said before. But uh, just haven't, like, you know, just gotten back into the game. Um, I think now's the time, though, obviously, with Burning Shadows pre-release coming uh, exactly tomorrow, starting. So uh, it's time to make a deck. Um, I actually did get a chance to play with Jamie of the Awesome Couple. This was, like, I don't know, two, three weeks ago. Wasn't really anything official. We just decided, you know, let's go out for dinner. Let's uh, play a couple games. And, uh, yeah, my decks are old at that point. I didn't really upgrade them much. Uh, new meta out and everything. I ended up facing Jamie's awesome, awesome uh, Metagross GX deck. I just had to make it. I bought, I think, 20 Metagross GXs. And uh, I bought them a long time ago when they were about $1.20. And now they're like 4 bucks. So I'm four times my money. But anyways, I got a lot of them. Might as well make one of these awesome decks. Um, and I can't wait to use it. Like, during the pre-release, uh, you know, before... The rounds or after the rounds just play around and stuff but yeah we are back guys um it's very interesting because i never thought of you know ever using a steel deck even though steel decks are absolutely awesome i uh, just it just wasn't that good like i mean besides sogaleo uh there hasn't been anything too too hot but now with uh metagross out and people using it and it's like you know placing pretty high up there uh, let's take a look at what we made. So this deck is basically the same deck list that Jamie sent me. I'm probably going to do a little bit of tweaks uh, once I get some uh, playtesting in during the uh, next few weeks of events. Uh, we're all going to start off, obviously, with some Beldum. You guys already know. little basic Beldum. We got four of these guys. Uh, not the uh, not the hottest, uh, you know, basic Pokemon. It has a very good attack, though, Core Beam, which is great for uh, discarding those energies early to set up for that Geotech system of um metagross gx but there you go your typical uh line we got matang he's got ram he's got core beam discarding energy again uh very good for uh setup for a geotech system it's nice that pokemon actually designed you know the uh evolution line to you know like benefit the the, the stage two stage two is heavy so next we have metagross gx the uh key and core to this deck so, Metagross GX is really good because it's really beefy. There's a Geotech System, which is basically... Um, you may, you can attach a Psychic or a Steel Energy from your discard pile on a, your active Pokemon. So, it's really good when you have like a few of them up. You're basically using Giga Hammer, which is 150. Um, discard the energies. Uh, get them back with Geotech System with like a Float Stone or something. It's super, super good. Very good. Um, a super awesome Pokemon. Metagross GX, obviously we're going to have four of these guys because it is our star of the show. Very, very awesome. Super powerful. Um, you get the energies back and it's just absolutely amazing. Um, obviously Algorithm GX2 is great, but it's always countered by N, unfortunately. Algorithm GX is you search for five cards um, in your deck and you put them into your hand. Uh, not the best thing, but pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, Tapu Koko. Uh is very important in this deck because flying flip is super clutch like this is an awesome card to have um we have so many uh pin and was it figure collections now there's like a i don't know shiny coco gx box too and i think there's one more coming out i don't even know um but there's a lot of coco stuff going on but this uh this promo is really really cool flying flip it's really nice you put uh you have um Two colorless energy costs, but you put 20 damage on each of your opponent's uh, Pokemon. That's really good because if they have a setup with a ton of bench and stuff, um, you put 20 damage on all their Pokemon. Chances are they're not going to be able to heal all their Pokemon. Uh, unless they're water, they use you know Rough Seas or whatever. But that 20 damage is actually really important because Giga Hammer does 150, right? There's a lot of Pokemon with 170 HP, 180 HP, 200, whatever. Um, you get that 20 down. The Giga Hammer, 150. You get 170. You knock out you know a ton of different EXs there but um, as you see later on there's more damage um, addition with choice span that covers you for 210 damage then you have like a Kakui or something 230 um, that's why it's really important to have that guy so for uh, uh, draw support Pokemon draw support we have uh, Shaman you guys already know what Shaman does uh, I only have one of them in the deck uh, I like playing around with one Shaman and one 
Lele. That's what I do online. It's pretty fun. Um, I don't know. We'll see uh, how, how I like it. Maybe I need two Lele's. I'm not sure. Um, but Shaman's still really, really useful to get that card draw. Um, very interesting card here. Yeah, it's a tech. Um, we have a Vulpix. We have one one line of Vulpix and um, Alolan Ninetales GX. Ice Blade is the attack that you're going to be using. Put 50 damage on uh, one of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance uh, for bench Pokemon. Uh, this is in here, as Jamie told me, uh, strictly for Volcanion. Now, I've seen some matchups, and i played some matchups online against Volcanion. Uh, this deck gets roasted with the fire weakness. Absolutely roasted, so that's why that's in there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a tough matchup. Absolutely tough matchup. Uh, and that's it for Pokemon. That is 16 Pokemon, if I'm doing my math correctly. Uh, four, five, yep, 16 Pokemon. Now we got the supporters. We got Sycamore. We got three of these guys. Um, you know, very basic, very uh, fundamental. Got to have some Sycamores. Uh, I'd like to run another one. I, I want to see how this plays out once again um, during the pre-release. And then we got three N, one extra N. Maybe we can do four Sycamore, two N in the future. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Uh, we have two Lysander. I see that a lot of decks are running three. Um, we'll see how that works out. Uh, having three is good against uh, Garbodor decks, obviously. But this deck is uh, pretty sweet in that your main attacker is resistant to Psychic. Um, there's a lot of different strategies to uh, you know limit your item play. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, we have one Bridget. Very, very uh, common card nowadays because you can get three uh, basic Pokemon or a, um, a EX Pokemon. Which is nice because it's basic. Um, it says that you can uh, get three except for Pokemon EXs, so it's not good for EXs, but it's great to pull out GX Pokemon and, um, and basics. So it's a really good card uh, to get a ton of things out without using three item cards. So um, this, this card is just absolutely amazing uh, for that reason. Uh, it was like super cheap in the past, and now it's like, I don't know, a couple bucks now, same price as then. Um, that, next we have a Pokemon Ranger. Uh, super cool card. Um, to get rid of uh, effects of um, uh, status effects and attack effects of attacks rather um, can be super super clutch in some uh, situations just like uh, you know delinquent or whatever hex maniac and we have an Olympia to switch your Pokemon out uh, sometimes you're in that sort of uh, I don't know your opponent has one prize card left or something switch out a card um, switch out an active Pokemon you never know super awesome card hex maniac is great to shut down some sort of uh, ability that you need shut down. Um, there's a lot of them. Volcanion being one, shut down someone's Lele, shut down their Shaman draw, whatever, shut down their Decidueye. You can only imagine. Um, and then we have Kakui. Kakui's in here because Kakui is sometimes super clutch, super, super clutch for that extra 20 damage. Like I said, you have Metagross GX, 150 damage, right? If you, if you hit a uh, Flying Flip with Tapu Koko, that's 170 damage plus a choice band. That's another 40. That's 210. Uh, Kakui adds another 20 for 230. So you never know. These things just line up. It's like the planets lining up. Sometimes you just need them and they're there for you. Uh, next we have very, very awesome. Very, uh, very standard. Four Verse Seekers. Um, see a lot of decks using less and less Verse Seekers because of that uh, threat from Garbodor. But in this deck, when you have so many supporters, especially single supporters that you might have to discard, you know, using a, a Sycamore or a uh, Ultra Ball, uh, it's important to get them back. So four Verse Seekers, there you have it. You got four Ultra Balls. Uh, it's, it's still a pretty item heavy uh, deck. Um, Ultra Ball obviously being there, it's just standard. You know, you always have to have your Ultra Balls in there to grab what you need. Um, next we have four Choice Bands. Give you that damage. Everything's like tilted to the... I always like... There we go. That might be a little better. Uh, four choice bands are great to get you that damage that you need. Um, that 40 extra damage on EX and GX Pokemon. Sorry, 30 more damage on EX and GX Pokemon. Super, super important. If I'm doing my math wrong, I've been thinking that uh, choice band does 40 damage. I'm thinking of Fighting Fury Belt, which gives you 40 HP. That does 30 damage. So let's do our math uh, backwards. Giga Hammer is going to give you 150 plus the Flying Flip, um, 20, 170, plus 30, not uh, not 40, for 200 damage. There you go. Now we got Rare Candies. We got three of these guys. Uh, super important to get your 
uh, Beldum's in the Metagross as fast as you can. Um, but th this card is just absolutely clutch. Max Potion is so good because after every single attack, right, you're going to be discarding all your energies and then you have, you know, 250 HP. You're going to tank a lot and lot of hits. Um, and then, like, once you're once you're there, you just use Max Potion and then you can use your Geotech system. So it's a super, super clutch card. I might even throw in a fourth one. Um, very, very good card. Always important um, to have in this deck for that survivability. Um... That's a stain, whatever you want to call it. Fuel blower, two of them. Um, it's very standard in this deck. Next, we have Altar of the Sun, or like I like calling Sunni. Um, but it is really, really good to keep your Metagross, um, your Beldums, your Matangs safe from fire. Um, it is not. Uh, there's only one in this deck. I noticed that. Maybe it's not that useful. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see how it plays out, but uh, it's it could protect you, you know, a turn or two. But it's tough because there's so many field blowers nowadays. And then we have a rescue stretcher. Uh, this card is super, super clutch to shuffle three Pokemon um, into your deck and then use, you know, I don't know, Algorithm GX, maybe uh, Professor Sycamore, who knows. Um, and yeah, it's just, you know, when you need that Pokemon, like a Shaman or something for, for draw, you play it, you can put it right into your hand and put it down. It's absolutely awesome. Rescue Stretcher is a great card. Maybe in the future we might want two of them. Well, as always, we will see. And obviously with Burning Shadows, you know, there's absolutely different uh, decks that are going to be coming out. Um, but yeah, then we have our Steel Energies. Of course, we're not going to have any other energies. Um, nine of them, very, very clutch. Um, we're going to need to pull these guys out of the discard pile. They're, they're clutch because you can discard them, and you're supposed to discard them in this deck. So use your Ultra Balls, use your Sycamores and stuff, uh, get them into that discard pile, and then you can use Geotech System. Um, this deck is really, really good. I couldn't beat Jamie at all, and I use a Garbodor deck too, so um, hopefully this uh, this is fun um, and stands a chance against a lot of the meta out there right now. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just really, really uh, exciting to finally get back into the game and start playing a little bit more after being out for so long and just unboxing stuff and playing online. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Let me know what you guys think of this deck. Uh, it's very standard. Um, it's a good build that everyone does or, or has some sort of variation. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to have some fun with this. Please like, share, subscribe, comment for more awesome Pokemon TCG content. We'll have more deck stuff soon. Um, we'll also have uh, the Burning Shadows uh, packs outside of the, uh, um, what do you call it, the pre-release. I'm going to bring them home. I'm going to pile them together. I'm trying to go to as many as possible. Holly's actually home right now visiting her parents. So, unfortunately, we can't have two of us there and getting tons of packs. But we will be opening up some packs. Stay tuned for that. I think I'm going to release that on Sunday. And, uh, yeah, as always, we will catch you guys later.